your eight minute question and answer period will now begin. How did you come up with the ideas for your projects? So um, uh, for Bean, for example, uh, one of our founders of this project was the primary needs analyst uh, who worked at a local cafe and observed how much coffee waste was being thrown out every day. Um, so he started the initial idea. After that, we conducted a social media contest to see if potential customers are interested in uh, the product or not. Also, th um, uh, through surveys, we followed up with our sample set of customers to determine if the product um, and our idea met their needs. Lastly, um, once we uh, uh, met up with our uh, uh, partners, we quickly found out uh, uh, the, their need for our product and our, our, our idea, and we implemented the same. What is an example of a hurdle you faced because of COVID-19 and how did you overcome it? So in terms of the hurdle that we have faced for Tenacity, there were various challenges, such as first, we had to move our workshop to be an online platform and also keeping our content to be engaged. And of course, we also had to look into how can we expand our partnership and how can we work with current partners to facilitate workshop during the pandemic for Big Brother Big Sister or George Brown College. And really, I think we really overcome these challenges by keeping clear communication with our partners and as well our partnership coordinator and as well understanding what is it that our partners want when it comes to us being presenters and the content of our workshop. We also look into a lot of online research when it comes to interactive learning for you know, online website and things like that to keep our content engaged. Explain what tools your team uses to measure impact. So uh, for, for the Bean itself, um, one of the projects, uh, our team conducted a lot of research to determine how much, uh, for example, greenhouse gases are emitted by the raw material used in production mainly coffee waste and paper. Uh, we combed through academic articles and publications, conducted secondary research and learned that, uh, you know, diverting 21 grams of coffee and four sheets of paper per unit amounted to a reduction of 92 grams of greenhouse gases or 92 kilograms per 1000 units. Using this data, we created a spreadsheet that measured um, the total climate impact in grams and kilograms per multiples of 10 to 1,000 units of our product to provide us with a big picture of what we've achieved so far and what we can do in the future as we expand. Do you have plans to scale your projects? Why and how? In terms of scalability for Tenacity, right now we do not have a revenue stream and this is something we really want to change for the next year. Luckily, because of our partnership with Student Life of George Brown, our members will have the chance and opportunity to be hired for next year as presenter for financial literacy with the college. And we're also looking a lot more in grant, like expanding our outreach when it comes to online platform. We're looking right now into Eventbrite when it comes to marketing our project. With my time, we plan to scale our uh, plant project next year uh, with the help of Kia Partnerships, an R3 partner who provided our team with plants or partial subsidy of plants will allow us to expand our offerings to a larger number of participants. We plan on using our current connections to build our network of plant project uh, participants. Uh, we are also opening up our hypnotherapy project uh, to high school audiences around the GTA. Uh, which will allow us to triple our participation numbers. Looking at the triple bottom line, so people, planet, and prosperity, is there one of those where your team could have done better? So um, I believe uh, that in terms of um, environment, we could do a lot better. Um, the bean is, is in the incubation stage right now. And uh, the way we see bean going forward is, and the, the potential for scalability of the bean provides us with um, huge uh, potential for impact numbers and diverting um, uh, organic waste from the landfills. Um, by doing this, we also want to increase our uh, additional environmental impact by uh, diverting our profits to 
uh, purchasing and uh, planting young trees in Toronto neighborhoods to um, absorb additional CO2 and uh, cool down the urban areas in Toronto. And with my time, we are currently working on expanding our uh, workshop programs to include the basics of zero waste living, sustainability, and space organization, which will also have an impact on the environment. If your team was given $25,000 right now, what would you use it for? Uh, I'll take this one. Thank you for the question. So if we were given, if the beam was given $25,000, we would uh, uh, use at least 50% of that amount to improve our products, approximately 75% for the marketing and remaining 25% per, uh, percent to uh, divert it, uh, to use that into some good initiative and in expanding our product line. What do you expect your projects to look like a year from now? Year from now, sorry, it's a great question. Speaking on behalf of Tenacity, a year from now, we expand, we plan to expand our team and expand our workshops to reach a greater demographic and ultimately get our name, a household name, and that, uh, that can serve many households and people in need. And also uh, for the bean, we are currently looking at expanding our product mix to include candles, deodorants, and fertilizers. Uh, this expansion in the next year will require a diversion of additional uh, coffee waste as a raw material, which will increase our impact um, on the environment by tenfold. As we expand our revenue uh, uh, stream, we plan to start investing in social initiatives, such as providing jobs for underprivileged uh, community members to gain new skills and integrate them back into the workforce. We also have a potential for a... Uh, a different business model where we become a wholesaler and establish a supply line for companies with a brand that require coffee waste as a raw material, which is full of nitrogen and phosphorus. Could you clarify the role of your partnerships and the role of your team in your projects? Uh, thank you for your question. In terms of the bean project, our current uh, partners are two, uh, two major raw material supplier for the coffee ground. Uh, we, uh, those are two local cafes. This year we approached uh, them to secure a supply of coffee grounds for our paper and the soap base. And we are also in initial talks with the city of Toronto to secure a supply for recyclable paper so that we could use those uh, paper and manufacture our product and make it 100% biodegradable. And in terms of the functioning of team, uh, we Your have- Your time has now expired. Thank you, Enactus George Brown College.